Hey guys, Adam Middlesworth here. Welcome to my YouTube channel. In today's video, I'm going to show you the number one reason that Facebook ads fail for mortgage and real estate agents. And so, uh, guys, if you like mortgage and real estate related content, if you like Facebook marketing, if you like what I've been doing, uh, make sure that you subscribe to my channel. Uh, I want to help as many of you as possible. Uh, that's the only thing that I ask is that you subscribe to the channel so that I can help as many people as I can with this content. Okay guys, so again in this video, I'm going to go over how to essentially make sure that your ads are working, um, go over the number one reason that real estate agents and mortgage loan officers fail with their Facebook ads, and if they're not doing this one thing, then you know, you're not going to get business from your Facebook advertising. So uh, here are a few uh, examples. I was literally just scrolling through on Facebook and took a couple screenshots of ads that I saw. And the first ad that I saw is not even in my area, which is kind of wild. Um, and no offense to, to this page, but uh, this is not a great, you know, there's even no ad copy. Uh, it's a free list of homes, which isn't really uh, necessarily uh, an attractive offer and then when I clicked on it it just literally went to Facebook Messenger with a generic please let me know how I can help message and I've been seeing a lot of that from real estate agents recently even if it's a good ad it goes directly to a send message and from there there's no follow-up done um, from that right um, Nobody is really going to click on, I'm interested, can you tell me more? Nobody's going to click on, can I speak to an agent? There's no real um, messaging there related to the ad. So your messaging needs to be related to the ad. So this is the, the number one reason that real estate agents and mortgage loan officers fail with their advertising is there's no conversion mechanism, right? If they're just going straight into Messenger, they don't have a mini chat account that is building a messenger list. Um, they're not acquiring a name, email, phone number from the ads that they're doing, right? So there's no conversion mechanism. And that's the number one reason that agents and loan officers fail with their marketing, right? So a conversion mechanism means um, a landing page or a lead capture page, which is a one page website where you're either gonna grab their information or you're not right so that's the only thing that they're there for so for this uh, it would be a list of homes and they would go to a landing page that says hey grab your list of homes by uh, providing your info right and they're gonna they're gonna provide their name and email and then you can give them the information that they requested uh, another conversion mechanism within Facebook is called lead forms or lead generation objective and so from there uh, what you'll do is it's essentially like a, uh, a, a lead capture page or a landing page, but it's within Facebook. So you'll be able to go into uh, Facebook Ads Manager, click on Lead Generation, and create the, the same ad that you would, but when somebody clicks on it, they'll go to a form that says, hey, uh, you know, here is your list of homes, and just provide your info and we'll give you that information, right? So they'll, they'll put in their name, email, phone number, and then you can follow up with them, right? So that's the second way. The third way is through Facebook Messenger. And so whenever they click on, you know, if they're interested on a homes list or if they're interested in a listing or an open house, and they click on that, then we can send an automatic message related to whatever they ask for, right? So this is one of the best ways to create conversations, not just leads for your business because Leads are great, but they don't lead to more business. Conversations and appointments lead to more business. So I always say conversations equal closings. So as many uh, conversations as we can create, that's what we want to do. And we want to make it as easy as possible for prospects, leads, uh, potential buyers and sellers to click on an ad and as soon as they click on that ad, create a conversation, right? So. Uh, the staple in sales and marketing is we need to call leads within five minutes, right? We need to respond to leads within five minutes. Well, if we're just going straight to Messenger, then we're responding immediately and creating conversation immediately. And if we have a three, four, five question Messenger bot to ask them questions related to the Facebook ad that they were interested in, then they're giving us five, six, seven micro commitments. They're giving us five, six, seven yeses 
essentially to what we had to offer and they're more likely to to actually engage in a conversation in messenger and then get off of messenger onto a phone call and into an appointment and into a closed deal right so that's super important the other thing that i see people doing is on the right here you see uh pretty much an ad right uh, it's a huge four bedroom five bed option um it's basically a new homes uh new build homes and all he's saying here is call you know ask adam or whatever right so that's a missed opportunity if he put a landing page there or if it was a messenger ad then he would get immediate responses, right? You could get the majority of your leads that way. He's losing so many leads by just adding that. And that's the other thing that I, that I see people do is just add their website. So, you know, uh, adamhomes.com or whatever, and they go to the website and they have so many different options on a website. Whereas a lead capture page, a lead form, or a messenger ad would capture that information they don't have any other option to go search for homes or learn more about us or do any of that right most websites lose leads that way you get like five percent conversion rates if you have a really good website whereas if we're using lead capture landing pages lead forms or messenger we see as as much as 25 to 35 percent opt-in rates so this is the number one thing that I see people do with their ads. They're not doing lead capture in one of those three ways. Guys, if you want more information and, and videos on those three ways to acquire leads, I've made videos on those. I will link those in the description below. Guys, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you have any questions, uh, comment below. I'm here to help you guys. I'm here to serve you guys. And with that said, please subscribe so that I can help you with real estate and mortgage related marketing. And I look forward to seeing you guys in the next video.